What is your stand on same-sex marriage? I don't agree. Why? Because, because marriage is sacred that we need to Hello everyone, welcome once again to my channel. My name is Luis Portelis and for today's video we have a very special one because we're gonna be talking and analyzing another Q&A. Now this one is another regional pageant, more precisely the one for Ilocos Sur, which precisely is called Sanyata Ti Ilocos. Please tell me if I said that wrong. But of course, as you can imagine, I am super excited for this video because it's an opportunity for me to get back into the pageant videos, but at the same time, it kind of builds up the momentum as the national pageants approach. I'm also super excited because Rabia and Beatriz Luigi Gomez were both of them part of the jury for this particular pageant, so I'm expecting to see a lot of substance. These two girls are amazing. So I expect them to make wise decisions. As usual, what I'm gonna ask from you is that if you enjoy my video, don't forget to leave a like so that it gets recommended to more people. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one almost every single day. And last but not least, let me know in the comment section what did you think about the pageant, questions, the answers, my feedback, and anything else that you might want to talk about. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. I really, really hope that you enjoy it. Ambassador for women's advocacies, what is your stand on same-sex marriage? Ooh. I will repeat the question. Girl, get it together. Societies around the world are slowly recognizing gender issues. As a would-be ambassador for women's advocacies, what is your stand I on love this same-sex marriage? Mm -hmm. Before she even answers, I'm gonna tell you. You know, for previous pageants, I thought that the questions were sometimes a little simple because they were based on subjects like tourism or like the pandemic. But here, they are starting with a very good question and one that can be a little polarizing. So let's see how she did. We cannot deny the fact that we are living in a judgmental society, but you, you know what I love the most. Uh -huh. We have love and respect. So in terms of same-sex marriage, I firmly agree with it because biblically speaking, it states that same-sex marriage is okay as long as there is love and respect because at the end of the day we are all the same women we are all humans that have hearts that love and cares for other people we just need Tell to them, implement girl. awareness educate our people at a very young age in order for them to be knowledgeable mm -hmm. that no matter what will happen as long as you love and respect your same people then at the end of the day you will be able to love each other and same-sex marriage is definitely a good term because um as long as there is really that um love between the two person then it is love because yes the world needs love so the legalization of same-sex marriage is good for me that would be all thank you very much Please, please, you guys, this is your homework today for this video. Go ahead, find this candidate, send her this video, tell her how much I love her, how much I loved her answer as well. And also tell her that she has gained my respect. Honestly, I thought that that was excellent. When it comes to her answer itself, I thought that she was really able to address the question in a very effective manner because as I was telling you, this can be a polarizing question because obviously not everyone agrees with same-sex marriage. However, she really went with the angle of respect, of loving one another, and she also said that there is nothing against same-sex marriage in the Bible, which is one of the arguments that is very often used to go against same-sex marriage and, you know, anything outside of heterosexuality. I also thought that her delivery was very good. I mean, she did not hesitate. She did not uh, look for words. She was sure of what she was telling, and that makes it even better because I believe what she's telling me this she's now coming up with a pageant party answer just for the question but she really felt that the only feedback that i will provide will need to maybe edit a little bit because it got a little long when it comes to the answer but other than that i absolutely love this what a way to start this video please find this candidate and tell her that i love you girl mm -hmm. i'm excited now i'm excited who else is gonna top that <laughs> As would be ambassador for women's advocacies, what is your stand on same-sex marriage? I'll ask the question again. 
Okay, now I get it. It seems like regional pageants have the same questions for all contestants to make it fair, I feel like. And this one in particular just happened to go with gender issues and discrimination and all of that. So, okay, now I get it, now I get it. <laughs> Societies around the world are slowly recognizing gender issues, as would be an ambassador for women's advocacies, mm -hmm. as a would-be ambassador for women's advocacies. What is your stand on same-sex marriage? As a political science student and someone who advocates about political correctness, uh -huh. which talks about the negative stereotypes and verbal discrimination that comes with gender i am really in favor of same-sex marriage As you should. because i know that love knows no gender mm. it has no limitations it is something that we must and we should embrace we are now in a society wherein we are welcoming diversity and the first step that we should do is to accept people to accept their gender preference because in that way we would be able to create an environment where empathy and openness of something new is at its prime. Thank you. Ooh, come on, girl. <laughs> <clears throat> Both candidates so far did an amazing job when it comes to the delivery of their answer and how they justified it. I'm really, really satisfied. Not that I'm thinking about it, right? I think that it makes sense that they had Beatrice as one of the judges because obviously she's like a spokesperson for everything LGBTQ plus in the Philippines. I like how confident she seemed to be and how she really emphasize each and every single word with the tone of her voice that gave the answer a little bit more power now i think that in the beginning it was a little bit too long before she actually answered the question like she started by talking about being a political science student and then believing about political science correctedness but then uh it kind of like got lost for a little bit until she finally said i firmly believe that it should be allowed that it should be okay and that should be if not the first thing the second thing that she say answer the question and then elaborate and give us context and give us more information but start by answering the question because if you get nervous girl it's over but she did very well that's honestly more of a feedback than a critique i loved it and uh cannot wait to keep watching I loved it, so let's keep watching. Societies around the world are slowly recognizing gender issues. As a would-be ambassador for women's advocacies, what is your stance on same-sex marriage? Can you imagine if someone actually went against it? Like, they're like, I don't agree with this. They just put all the homosexuals in jail. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> you see me rant. <laughs> Thank you for that question. In a world for, full of stereotypes and standards, I would choose to break those. I am in favor of same-sex marriage. Just because who are we to question somebody's love for someone? And I believe that love has no standards. If you are able to express yourself, if you are able to, ju to give judgment to this love, then it's okay for you. What makes it wrong is the people who perceive it with judgment and criticism. Nowadays, we should be open and respect everyone. As for as long as that's what makes them happy, then let them. Because as an educator, I believe that being able to influence the youth, to respect all our diversities, to respect our, all our life choices, is the biggest thing that I could contribute to our community. Thank you. Ooh, very nice, very nice, very nice. Okay, I do like her angle, like how she approached the question. It's not something that the two others didn't do, which is to really talk about others, you know? Because sometimes we think about ourselves and like my gender and like my preference and my sexuality, but often we don't realize that the stereotypes and the prejudice and everything negative that comes out of you know being lgbtq plus it's very often associated to other people it's based on other people's judgments and perception and what they think we should be doing and how we should behave and who we should sleep with but at the end of the day that's their problem like it has nothing to do with me i'm sorry i was okay before i met you and i'll be just fine after you're gone Mm. But anyways, back to the question. I also like how she included the fact that she's an educator and, you know, supporting the youth, making them feel appreciated and loved from a young age. Because that's really how you cultivate, like, a healthy 
relationship with yourself and like accepting yourself because if everyone is telling you around you that it's wrong that you're a sinner that this is you're going to hell and na na then you're just traumatizing the youth but if you grow in a loving and accepting environment who rather than trying to change you they just want to give you the tools to better understand and you know grow without malice that will be honestly an ideal scenario now for the feedback she was a little bit stressed and it showed on uh, her voice it was a little shaky she was like looking here and there and she was like not sure like if she was connecting with the host or if she was connecting with the judges and it also showed a little bit on her body language in the beginning she was holding the microphone like this like she was holding to it for her life but then eventually she she relaxed a little bit she let it go and you could see her you know like looking up and like her posture automatically uh got fixed and she was like moving her arms and like you know it just seemed a lot more natural so for the second part of it i enjoyed it more than the beginning because she was a little stressed and she was looking for words and all but you know let's give her a break she did a very solid job and this is not an easy question and it's not easy being in front of all of these people judging you so societies around the world are slowly recognizing gender issues as a would-be ambassador for women's advocacies what are your what is your stand on same-sex marriage i am for same-sex marriage because i believe that love has no boundaries love has no race love has no sex of limitations because love is inclusive and that is why we stand here today because i represent not just only myself because but also the love for myself the love for others and same-sex marriage isn't should be considered because inclusivity should be represented by all thank you hey <laughs> Okay, I think she was a little nervous and I think the question caught her by surprise a little bit. She did a good job. I mean, it was consistent. She did answer the question. However, when you compare it with previous performances, I feel like they definitely stood out. As in her case, she just really addressed the question. She was trying to justify it, you know, like with, I represent, and then I was like, oh my gosh, she's about to come out. But no, she was like, I represent love and we all love each other and that's why we're here. And I was like, okay. But that was not super relevant to the question, so... I feel like she answered the question, but that, you know, up to that point, that's it. But still, props to you, girl, because it's not easy. Societies around the world are slowly recognizing gender issues. As a would-be ambassador for women's advocacies, what is your stand on same-sex marriage? We all deserve to love and to be loved. And it's just, it pains me to know that there are a lot of people who see this as a role because I am in favor of this. Because the LGBT community deserves more, deserves better. And they have to be seen as equal as us because they are very great people and they are very vital in, the, in our society. And we should get together as one to decrease discrimination and judgment in our society. Thank you. Okay, that was a good one. I like her answer. I feel like it was slightly different than the previous ones that we've seen so far. But there was something with the flow of the answer. I feel like it was in blocks. Like it wasn't like a smooth answer that just connects with arguments and like justifications. It was like, you know, LGBTQ people are very nice. They deserve the same things as us and they are vital to society. I would have liked for her to make like a long sentence and make it like sound beautiful and powered and that's honestly the only thing that was missing from this answer because the rest, she did have arguments, she did answer the question and she didn't look extremely nervous whatsoever. So I was just missing those little connections, you know? That's all I'm asking for. Good job, regardless. Good job. <laughs> Societies around the world are slowly recognizing gender issues. As a would-be ambassador for women's advocacies, what is your stand on same-sex marriage? I personally love the LGBT community for their own talent and skills, but my stand about same-sex marriage is that I don't, I don't agree. Why? Because. Thank you. Thank you. Ah. Thank you so 
very much. Let's give all of these beautiful and smart ladies a round of applause. Girl, now wait a damn minute. So Marlon, they have spoken and we will give our judges time to convene for the final results. <clears throat> Look, how do I put this? I'm not gonna disrespect her or anything because we are better than that. I mean, as I was telling you, I don't agree with this. I, I truly don't. I believe that you cannot judge the value of a person or, you know, what rights they should and they shouldn't have based on the person that they love. I feel like in our society, you know, we tend to glorify so much people for doing so many different things, you know, and like we forget that at the end of the day, we're all sinners. Like we all sin in our very own way. So why should this small group of people not have the same rights that the majority of people have access to. I personally always tell myself, and this is something that I learned at a very young age, especially coming from a country with a very toxic masculinity culture, and that is that sometimes you will glorify men for fighting, you will glorify men for going to war, you will see them as heroes, you will see them as, you know, uh, protectors. However, when a man dares to love another one, it becomes an issue, it becomes disgusting, it becomes a sin. Same applies to a woman who loves another woman. And I feel like that's so wrong in so many levels because we contribute to the society the same way that you do. And just because you think that we are sinners or you don't agree with our lifestyle, with what we decide to do with our life and our freedom and our love, it doesn't mean that you get to dictate what we do with our lives. It is ours for a reason, it was given to us. And if you believe that God makes no mistakes and that God is inclusion, then it doesn't make sense for you, a mortal human being, to try to determine what is right and wrong. Let God do the judging. At the end of the day, I don't want this to be like bashing against the candidate. And it's something that has been repeated over and over and over. And you never know. Maybe she does believe it. Maybe she feels pressured. Maybe she comes from a very religious family that happens to be in the room and she doesn't want to disappoint her. You, you never know what the context is. So I'm not going to go against her, but I do have to defend my point of view and defend, you know, the people that are affected by a statement like this one. And you could feel how people were applauding. You could feel how people were happy that she said such a thing, which in reality, it just demonstrates how this group of people, the LGBT community, still has a long way to go in the Philippines. You know, I was telling you in the beginning, uh, it's a good thing that they have Beatriz Luigi Gomez as a, as a judge in the panel, because this is representation, and it shows that your stereotypes don't have to define a person, and they don't have to define how we look, how we act, how we speak, what we can do, what we can achieve, and what we can do with our freedom. Girl, I'm sorry, but mm-mm. That was not it. So anyways, you guys, that was it for my analysis of this particular Q&A segment for Miss Iloko Sur, uh, 2022, of course. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section what do you think about the answers, the questions, my feedback to them, and I'll make sure to go through the comments because I'm very curious uh, what your take is on this one in particular. While you're at it, please don't forget to leave a like on this video so that it gets recommended to more people. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one almost every single day. And last but not least, Come here and give me a hug. That's a little tradition on the channel. You know that I love you, that I appreciate you. Thank you for coming and spending a few moments out of your day here with me. <laughs> and until I see you next time, please stay safe, be kind to one another, sending you all my love, all my kisses, and I'll see you on the next one.